Mighty Morphin Power Inches once and always. Is there an extended cut out there for this special? That is the question and that is what I'm going to be talking about in this video today. So if you enjoy this kind of content or you're a fan of Power Inches, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Power Inches related content because I'll keep you guys entertained and I'll keep you guys in the loop when it comes to Power Inches news, comic reviews and stuff like that. So Mighty Morphin Power Inches once and always. Is there an extended cut out there? I honestly don't know, but I would love to see one. Why am I asking this question? Well, m some of the cast have been posting these behind the scenes videos and images of Once and Always of stuff that never made it into the final special of Once and Always, with it being a 55 minute special. A lot of people have been wanting the special to be more than 55 minutes, maybe going for like 80 minutes or something like that, a little bit longer. Um, but the first clip we saw of behind the scenes is David Yost posting this extended scene of when they confront Rita in the palace there's a scene where Billy goes full like Gears of War mode going behind the pillars and taking on Minotaur and sort of blasting him which is a really cool scene where it sort of slows down and speeds up I kind of wish we got that in the movie and then there's another one recently that a lot of people have been talking about and it's Charlie Kirsch posting some behind the scenes images and not only that we get a glimpse at the scene where she plays a younger version of Trini and it's a really cool behind the scenes uh, video that she posted where you see her in the dressing room and they put the bangs on her head and then it transitions to the video where she's uh, playing a younger version of Trini doing the Mantis style and according to Catherine Sutherland the uh, extended bit of the scene is you see a younger version of Trini uh, practicing uh, the Mantis style and a baby Min is watching so it kind of gives me the vibes of that flashback from the first original TMNT movie where like Splinter as a rat was watching his master train and that's how he learned ninjutsu so it does make me wonder if like we expand on Min's backstory did she like get take interest in karate and all that stuff from watching Trini train and then as she got older then she sort of learnt that style like how we saw her adapting the Mantis style in the special so it makes me wonder so I also wonder what other deleted scenes are out there I'm pretty sure there's probably like a lot more that didn't make the cutting room floor from what I know of or from what I can guess um like because it only went for 55 minutes so I'm guessing there was probably a lot more that didn't make the special I mean one thing that a lot of people wish we kind of saw was all the other rangers getting captured as Snizzard and Minotaur grabbed them because a lot of people want like a little side story where they were captured or something like that and that would have been cool but I feel like we didn't really need to see that like we could have like had that scene skipped and we could have shown how dire the situation was because if they did that scene then that means they got to do all of these new locations for all these different ranges getting captured and stuff like that um but yeah where was i is there an extended cut of once and always possibly hopefully and i would like to see it one day i mean a lot of fans are clamoring for a home release of once and always and i would love to own this on 4k or blu-ray that'd be really freaking cool to have in my collection because i know it's on netflix but some stuff on Netflix does get physical releases later down the line, so hopefully once and always can be that, um, fingers crossed, but if it does get a physical release, maybe we can see that extended cut later down the line, or will the extended cut of once and always go the way of the Turbo movie where that extended cut is lost to time? What do you guys think? Do you think there's a possible extended cut of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always out there? Or do you think we'll never see it and we'll just only see some behind the scenes stuff and stories from the cast and crew about what didn't make it in there? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And with that said, I think I'm going to bring this little rambly video to a close. I know it's nothing too groundbreaking and you've probably seen a bunch of other Power Ranger YouTubers talk about the deleted scenes in Once and Always, but it had me thinking as I kept seeing those videos on my feed and people talking about them is there an extended cut out there i honestly don't know but if there is one i would love to see it someday but with that said i think i'm going to bring this video to a close like i said if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you guys later peace out take care bye